Hi, Rusty Dog here, and in this video we will be looking at the actual build for the cutter um, that was used in the previous video. So I decided to keep this video separate um, in this case uh, for those who do want to see how it was built. Um, and if you don't, well, you can just watch the previous video where I go through <coughs> the, uh, the outfitting and take it into combat. So, here we are then with a cutter. Let's put my bank balance just, just, just above the billion. Cost 20, 20 million for this thing, uh, which is a tenth of its normal price. And as you can see, she is uh, in her standard livery for now. That blue looks very organic, doesn't it? Um, one of the better looking ships in the game, I have to say. That these Imperial um, ships always, always are. I don't know where my, where my next jump is being plotted to, to be honest. But anyway, uh, let's see if I can just clear it. Because I just don't want to be looking at that all the time. Um, let's do a plot and a clear. There we go. Alright. So... I think the first thing we need to do is outfit the ship. Now I am at grade 3 here. I've already got um, some cargo in here. I decided just to fit a 64 ton cargo rack. Um, and I've got it stocked with 64 fish. So we'll be doing 64, 64 fish at a time. That should be enough um, for, you know, that we only need to restock it a couple of times. If that. I'm hoping I'm not going to go through more than 100 fish, but I know it, that's probably likely. So, weapon-wise, I want to try and use something maybe a little bit different, but let's take a look at what the hard points are. So, these are in kind of reverse order, in that the bigger ones are at the bottom. I don't know whether that's unique to this ship. So, we have one huge, two large and the rest are mediums. Now, I am probably looking at maybe possibly going with four sets of Seeker missiles here. Uh, it is something that will be different for me. That the, the huge hard point is going to be a multi-cannon because I think they're the best. So I don't know whether to go with three three big multi cannons here and then gimbaled pulses which would be by normal my normal uh, route and I know how to outfit that better because I'm used to it or maybe stick a couple of seeker missiles maybe have one huge multi cannon pulses and in the two large, we can have two uh, seekers if they allow that. Let's take a look. I want to. I want to see what um, if they do have a grade three seekers, and they don't. <coughs> see, it, it only goes up to two. Now we look at this one. <laughs> this is only useful if you are wanting to stop a ship from getting away after you've interdicted it. I wouldn't really use this in a res in a res site. Um, but yeah, it'll reboot a ship's FSD, so if he's trying to surge away, you just make a direct hit with one of these. Um, now it says rocket propelled, and it is dumbfire, so you, to get that hit, we've got pack hounds, where uh, they, um, <clears throat> they also are seeker, and the damage on there is 7.5, and armor piercing is 60, where here, same armor piercing, but the damage is 40. So the pack hound, but these are, this is the damage per, per little missile, I would assume. A seeking missile launcher that fires multiple specialized micro missiles. So is this damage for every micro missile? The shot speed is almost the same. The ammo 
is greater, but I'm guessing it's going to be balanced by the fact that it's firing multiple ones at the same time. <coughs> Maybe it fires all 12, in which case the damage would be 7.5 times 12. Um, so that would be 90, I suppose, against 40. But then, if you're firing 12 at a time, that means you only get 10, 10 shots. And in here you get more than that. So, but there, there, that's class 2's, which are these. So, we could just go 4 Seekers, 2 Large Pulses and 1. For out and out combat, that wouldn't really. Two large pulses, one huge multi cannon, and four, and four sets of seeker missiles. Well, that would be a different build to normal. Um. Yeah. Let me have a think. <laughs> okay. I've taken a look at another build from somebody else uh, by just searching the internet and I'm going to try and emulate that build um, more or less and what they've basically gone for is from uh, all the mediums being fixed multi cannons and all the others being fixed plasma accelerators obviously plasma accelerators only come in fixed so now, if I was to do that, personally for me, it would be a case of um, only taking on big ships, anacondas, pythons, I guess, um, federal ships, because I don't think with fixed weapons I would be any good taking on eagles, uh, and it, let's face it, It'd be kind of pointless, but if I get an anaconda that's winged with two vipers with a couple of fixed um, hard points, it might be difficult. So what I might do is just slightly modify that and fit three plasma accelerators, two gimbaled multi cannons, two fixed multi cannons, and that way, with the gimbaled ones, they can at least aim at the small ships because I think two medium multi cannons against an eagle or a viper would uh, uh, would do some damage and I think I can probably um, I think I can probably uh, you know impact more damage with the uh, special effects and whatnot now I've not really been one for plasmas before because <coughs> It's not been my weapon of choice, and also they do take up a lot of power, I believe. But let's let's try it and let's get started. So now we have this, which is cheaper and advanced, but it's in a class below. However, let's not be fooled by this. Let's see what the damage is. So 30.2 and 36.3. I'm a piercing 100. Right, I guess I'm going with this one then. This versus this. Hmm. That sacrifices damage to achieve an increased fire rate. I see. I see. I see. Wow, they really do go with the uh, decreased damage. So it's this one then. I don't know what the thermals are on this thing, but I'm imagining that firing everything off is going to be quite dramatic. And you don't want to be missing either. Now again, I probably want to go with the thing that's got more damage. Thermal load on these are much, much better. But I don't need I don't need um, faster fire rate because it's enough to 
have the ship in my sights to start with. So we're just going to go with standards. I know it's more power draw and I know it's more thermal. It was more power draw, wasn't it? No, it's not. It's the same. Okay, well, at least it's got uh, it's twice as much thermal, which isn't great. Now I could very easily just decide to uh, come in and completely change this build. I think I'm going to put the fixed ones on the bottom. I might not like this build at all. Um, yeah, two, yeah, no, wait a minute, where am I? Where am I? Oh, go back. Right, we're going to put the gimbals on the top, because they've got more freedom of movement, so we're going with gimbal here. And on these top, uh, sorry, on these bottom two, well, top two in the menu is what I was referring to. <coughs> but I don't want to get them confused with the with where they are on the ship, so the bottom two on the ship. Let's just take a look, before we do the two fixed ones. The damage is 15.6 and the armor piercing is 37. This is half the damage. But if I'm taking on big ships, I'm hoping that I will have them in my sights. And finally, another ripper of a multi cannon. So, how many of you expected that my uh, cutter was going to be pretty much? Pretty much all fixed weapons. Not quite all fixed weapons, but hey. Now utilities. Now I'm going to take some power. Now in this build that I'm kind of copying from, they had a heatsink launcher. Now I'm wondering whether that was because of firing these plasmas was going to generate so much heat that they need those. I don't know. But I am going to fit something different. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've lost count now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Eight. Okay. So I think we all know where we're going with this. Eight shield boosters, four A and four E. So that's one. Two. And finally, four. And now we're going to go with E-rated shield boosters, which will keep the power down, because we're going to be fitting. Um, we're going to be fitting a, a mod to this, which isn't going to matter what class you buy. So you may as well buy the small class because <coughs> less power draw. Less money, big deal in this world. So no chaff, no nothing on this. Now the problem with fixed weapons is, for me, is that I think you need to be a very competent pilot, because I don't know where I where I lay in that. Because the thing is, you have to have the ship right in front of you to be able to strike. Uh, and if you don't, if you can't keep the ship in front of you, you can't fire. 
and the cutter is not the most maneuverable ship in the world so others more competent than I am as a pilot may fare better than I will so it doesn't mean that you should um, not go with all fixed weapons if you if that's what you want the same as on my sidewinder build I, I switched back to gimbals but if, if you're competent with fixed then I would definitely definitely say to to stay with with fixed no doubt okay so we're going to change this and we're going to have a look at probably this I think I'm going to go with reactive so this is going to take my one billion balance and drop it like a stone last time I went with this but this time I'm going to go with this power plant now is going to be full on 8A now then let me just take another look at the build we got that we got that okay right so basically then everything here it, apart from uh, sensors and life support is going to be a rated sucking up all of my uh, credits even in the beta five million for that does that mean that it's 50 million in there uh, or 46 million I think it would be wouldn't it Uh, power distributor obviously we're going to max that out there's no question now I think we're going to be fine with power distributor here because um, basically the multi cannons um, obviously the the plasmas are going to really knock the power distributor for six I would imagine um, so we're going to go a slightly different way than we did on the sidewinder with this one okay so we've got that now in the optionals the only thing I'm not going to touch at the moment is this cargo rack so we're going to hit the uh, 8A shield gen how much would this normally cost so that is over a hundred million already spent um, and that's in the beta <laughs> <laughs> oh I chose prismatics I didn't want that I didn't want that in fact in fact I don't even want the standards I'm just gonna fit the by weaves if we can get them there we go please okay so HC by weaves I'm just going the same way as I did with the Corvette and the Sidewinder. Now then. Now we um, now the guy um, who did this build has fitted um, 8A shield cell banks. Now I've never really used those. And I don't know whether I'm actually going to need them. I probably will. So I'm just going to follow his build for now because I want to see how it suits me because doing a completely different build for me will make uh, will uh, will probably help me discover new things that I like or don't like that I didn't realize before so I think that's going to be important you've got to try out new things to know if they are compatible with your style of play and the, w the way you do things now we have a fuel scoop and I believe that the rest is all um, hull reinforcement but you cannot get to my knowledge a class 6 hull reinforcement so we're just gonna have to go with the 5 we obviously have another one there at the end 
Oh, also, rather than go with another whole reinforcement here, I'm going to go with a module reinforcement package because this is new. And I'm hoping that I don't need my whole reinforcement packages so much. But they may keep me alive when my shields go down and I decide enough's enough. So we'll just keep piling them on. Yes, it's contributing to the mass. But what can you do? Oh, I've got one more cargo here. Oh, I didn't even see that. That means I'm going to have to go into here. Oh, now then. It's not letting me it's not letting me move. Because it had that message up. Okay, so we just blown uh, four fish out. And now we can replace this. So maybe this is more of a PvP kind of ship, I don't know. It certainly looks to be that way. So we, must, we mustn't forget to do this at the end. Now I'm not quite finished with this yet. Yes, I've gone through the hard points. Yes, I've done the utilities. Yes, I've done the core. Yes, I've done the optionals. But there's one more thing. Livery. Paint job. Now look, the white is nice, but this is better. The new chrome cutter. Yep, I got it. I don't own the cutter in the live game, but for the when the day comes that I do, I can even afford to kit it out. Well, I, I, I could, let's face it. Um, yeah, this is what she's, she's going to look like. Oh, and while I'm here, dashboard. Let me see now. What have we got? Ten of them. So we don't really have a middle then, do we? Okay, how about in dashboard four? I bought a Christmas tree. <laughs> and I think in dashboard six, uh, would that be, would that be the, no, where's the, where's the um, opposite end of that? Uh, one, two, three, what the hell's the number six doing there? Where's the number six come from? How bizarre. I'm going to try it on seven and see if that's... I know this is silly. Oh, you can't have more than one. Oh, no. You can't have more than one Christmas tree. Oh, well. Well, there we go. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. It is a bit snowy in here. What's going on? Oh, it's power. Let's disable the. Um, let's disable the. Uh, we can't disable the cargo rack, can we? Let's disable the fuel scoop. It's not enough. Okay. We'll disable the shield cell bank. It is really cold in here. Looks like we're back to normal. Let's take a look at the chrome cutter. Now, the only problem with this is what she looks like when, when she's out in space. Because the chrome vulture that I had just looked like a dreary grey colour. It was it was a bit naff. It didn't look anything like this. This in the um, in the hangar looks great, but 
but out in space I think the new chrome shaders are worse than what they previously were. Look at the back of this thing. I certainly wouldn't want to uh, destroy this, have this ship destroyed. She has got the best rear end of any ship out there right now. This is just awesome. Okay, I suppose we better get modding then. So, sit back in your chairs, pause the video, go and make a cup of tea, because we're about to get underway here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just quickly buy some grade 3 thrusters. I won't be using these, of course. Now I'm concerned more about heat and stuff like that at the moment, so I'm going to go with clean tuning. And see where we can get. Good thermal load, good optimal multiplier. Okay, 15 and 42. Well, we're gonna we're gonna put that mentally in our head as the base. No, you're going to have to give me some good rolls here. Okay. Let's apply that. That'll be that's a that's a fairly decent uh base, I think. Mm. Okay, so now we can see where we're getting the improvements. Just not good enough. No, optimal and thermal are my main concerns here. Okay, so this is going to give us a lot more speed, but at the detriment of 37%. Speed isn't my ultimate concern here. I'm more concerned with thermals than I am with speed, if I'm honest. I want to keep a nice, cool ship so I don't get any heat issues when I'm firing three plasmas and and whatnot so great optimal mass there <laughs> optimal multiply went up thermal load no I want a blue here there we go eight percent better optimal multiply has gone up the rest is down I don't want to pull too much on the power draw as well if I can help it but I'm going to apply that for now, and maybe we can come back if uh, at the end, see where the power draw is. Now then. These are the mediums, I believe. Just looking through, obviously overcharge is probably a way to go here. Let's not forget the efficient weapons as well. They deal more damage than, than the stock weapons. And the thermal loads and the power draws are great, so you can just keep firing all day. Um, obviously you still have to wait for the reload. The damage goes up 9% but with grade 5 overcharge. Maybe I'll fit grade 5 overcharge on the gimbaled? Or should I do them on the fixed because I'm going to be hitting less with those I suppose. So I need to deal more damage when I do. So what if I have my gimbals on if efficient? And my fixed ones with um, <clears throat> let me go back a minute I want to have a look at something I did make oh okay I see what's going on so the F's are gimbals and the E's are fixed <clears throat> okay 
Uh, yeah, which way to go on this? F is gimbaled. E is fixed. Fixed weapons are probably going to be hitting their target less, so they need to cause more damage. Sorry, go back in just one more time. It should be the other way around, there shouldn't be. F should be for fixed. But it's not. So, okay then. So if we go for the... Uh, these are the two fixed weapons, these are the two gimbaled. So on the fixed ones, we're going to go for outright damage. So the ones that when they do hit, they're going to really hit. Now this isn't a bad one. The damage is better, but the distributor draw hasn't gone that far down. So I'm going to apply this as a base. Obviously this is not going to be my final one. Let's have a look here. Wow. The distributor draw is really bad though, but the damage is very, very good. But I'm not going to take it, because I think you can do that again and give me a better distributor draw. Well, you sort of did. Mm, it's only gone down by point z uh, point zero 0.02. Armor piercing is up, thermal load is better. And we can put maybe, uh, I have to keep reminding myself what these are. I know what auto loader is, I'm not really uh, into that one. Thermal shock is, is good. Incendiary is good. That one's not, not relevant to me. Okay, so I think we're going to put thermal on one, incendiary on the other, and do the same with um, with the other with the other two. The distributor draw concern really is with the um, plasmas, I think. <coughs> so let's just waste a fish. In fact. We don't have to waste a fish, do we? We can just put it into something like... What do I not need at maximum? Fuel scoop? Yeah, we'll just run it. We'll just waste it on a shielded scoop. Although it is going to kill my power draw, so forget that. <coughs> forget that idea. Uh, right, multis. Next one. So again, we're going to go with overcharge on the fixed weapon. Now that's kind of not brilliant, so... <clears throat> Could do better. Yeah, you're going to have to keep... No, 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 not impressed. It's this equilibrium that gets to me. Like when these are 40, that has to be 40. I want something here to affect it in my favour so that that equilibrium is uh, broken. Okay, well, we got good damage, but again, distributor draw is taking a bashing. But... It's only at 0.16. I don't know how much these pull on the distributor anyway. Integrity is up 8%. It's a good damage uh, roll. really is. Hmm. You see it says 46, but it's... It's not the percentage here that's counting. It's it's this number, because 
it's still 0.16. There's going to be a decimal place after that, but it's not really an issue. Power draw 10% less. Let's just try it and see what happens on this. So that means we're going to go with incendiary here. And now let's just uh, waste one. Right then, so these two hopefully will make up a little bit for the first two. Maybe not in terms of distributor draw, but it'll certainly help that way. Because these are not going to, we can make, what I'm saying is the other two, we can maybe afford them to take a little bit more distributor draw than we would have liked. Because these ones are going to cancel them out, if you like. So efficient weapons on the two fixed uh, multi-cannons. Now rate of fire seems to be the issue here. So I'm going to apply that for the base because it's all about the base. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Right. <clears throat> But I suppose if you wanted to practice in a cutter, it would be a mega trainer. Sorry, I will stop, I promise. Let's do this again. I want to not lose my rate of fire so much. You have got to be kidding. Still kidding. Damage is good. Rate of fire is better. Thermal load has dropped. Power draw has dropped. Distributor draw has dropped. No. They're all capable of being in the blues. So why would I settle for anything less? So I won't. Oui. Oh, and we get this for free, look. I wanted incendiary. Distributor draws good, power draws good, damage is better, rate of fire is down by 1%. Yeah, we'll take it. And that has the incendiary on it. Which means on this one, we need to go with the thermal, thermal shock. Still got 31 fish left, just over half. Ooh, wow. The only thing on this is the rate of fire. I'm just wondering how much of a big deal that is. I'm going to put this as my potential um final but i'm going to just see if i can get a better roll right so let's try it again yeah the only thing is the pull on the distributor But I think I'm going to take that. Integrity is up. Right then. <clears throat> that sorted that out. Frame shift drive. Now. I think pretty much everything here, except for the shielded, pulls on the power. 
So do I need do I need to pull on the power that much? What is the jump range here right now? <clears throat> because for what we need it's a bit bright isn't it? 15. For what we need we're only going to be jumping into the next system so we there's no point putting on putting on any more mass or many more power draw where we don't need to do it but I'm gonna I'm gonna waste a fish here anyway so let's do this Now then, unlike last time, this time I'm going to go for recharge on the uh, on the advice of uh, Kathina, who comments on my channels, uh, my videos. So I'm going to go with the recharge. Last time we went with capacity, but maybe I don't know. Is this still the right way to go with the weapons I have? Probably. Okay, so we'll use that as the base then, and we'll go again. So again, there is scope for better. There's scope for six blues here. Not too much of it. Night, small gains, big losses. unacceptable I know if I, I know if I sit here for long enough I'll get six blues it has to happen at some point nah just ones it's not worth not worth it okay I'll be back when I get a good one well I'm gonna settle on this I don't like this that it's taking down my shield capacity really but it's certainly dishing out a lot better recharge so I'm gonna I'm gonna take that one I could probably come back and improve on that one now shield cell banks I don't really use I don't know what's what's really here rapid charge would be handy I suppose but that's gonna pull power isn't it no Duration. Shield reinforcement 11. Specialized shield cell bank. Boot time is better. Thermal load better. Power drawn integrity. This mod allows you to pump some major power through your vessel command it takes. But it's not cheap. Module integrity is lowered and power draw increased with this mod in exchange for quicker boot up times and better thermal load handling. Yeah. And this one increases boot up time and loses duration to gain faster spin up times when used. This one again is power draw, but if I've got a good power plant, it's not really going to matter too much. Um, where is my power right now? I hate looking at this like this. It's 109 because the ship's so bright I can barely see at the bottom there. So 109. Well, I can I can take a I can take that nine percent off no problem. This one's got better thermal load. Hmm, I've never used these before, so I don't really know which is better for me. Module integrity is lowered and power draw increased. In exchange for quicker boot up times. This blueprint increases boot up time and loses duration. Duration. Hmm. To 
going faster spin up times. I just have to think of it like a turbo then I suppose. It'll spin up faster but it'll kick in slower. But my shield reinforcement goes up another 11%. That could be the crucial thing. Let's go for this. Try not to get too much into the reds. I've only got four fish left before I need to restock. Maybe we can do it with this. Let's, we need to apply something as a base. We're running out. Let's go back and uh, let's go back and stock up. Okay, we should be good now for most, if not all, the rest. I'd like to think so. 128 fish. I'm just imagining what it would be um, using materials. Okay, now I've got a clearer picture of where improvements can come. And that's not it. Clearly, four blues can quite easily happen. So again, I'm going to be sitting around waiting for that to happen. Hopefully it won't take too long. But there are delays here in these try agains when the screen just sits here like this. Thankfully we can click into this uh, window here, this window, and just not have to sit. I can't bear to sit through all the, you know, the sliding, the animation slidings. I can't just bear to sit through that. I prefer to have it instantaneous. Especially when you're modding at this speed, if you like, because we're just doing everything. Imagine the time I'm saving just by clicking on here. Oh, come on. That's 10 fish, isn't it? Yeah, 10 fish I've gone through there. 3 and 1, losing 1 and 1. No! No, why should I? Ooh, look at the shield reinforcement. Yeah, screw it, I'm going to take it. Uh, you know, I don't even know if I'll even use it, to be honest. Probably, but we'll see. So, hull reinforcements. Now, what do we have here? Lightweight, blast resistant, heavy duty. What does heavy duty put on as mass? That's all. I can handle that. It's not going to make the ship very, um, you know, very good. We could actually, very good at, uh, agility wise. What we can do probably is have one thermal resistant, one kinetic resistant, one blast resistant, because if they each focus on their own, but then they're going to be cancelling the others out. So, ah, go with heavy duty. Okay, just going to apply that. Not going to spend time on this, really. Yeah, we're really going to knock the mass for six here, but... Oh, you can do better than that. Told you. Oh, we're killing the mass, which is gonna make the ship like a big it's like a T9 full of uh, elephants or something and it's gonna the mass will also kill the uh, outright speed but it will protect the ship should I have gone heavy duty on all of them you tell me. Let me know. Okay. 
armor. Now here we can go with heavy duty again, more thermal resistant, but heavy duty again makes the mass suffer. <laughs> it's going to be a heavy ship this. Actually the mass didn't suffer that much on that one. Power plant. Uh, now we do need overcharge but we're going to come to that one last I think. Right then, this is the big guy. Now this will mean that when, I, when it does strike, it's going to impart a lot of damage. However, the distributor draw is being pulled on here. Uh, let's have a look at what Focus offers. Better damage slower rate of fire, worse thermal load. This one gives me less mass, less power draw, less distributor draw, but I have to accept that the current power of the um, plasma. It's not going to be any more than what it currently is. Overcharge is going to kill distributor and ammo clip size. I don't even, how many do we get? I don't even know. A hundred. <clears throat> Let's overcharge the big guy. So that if he hits, he's going to really cause some serious damage. Again, I might be going about this the wrong way. But I am, I am open to uh, suggestions. Oh buddy. Now I don't need this one. The distributor draw on this is awful. It's absolutely awful. And it takes four rounds off me. So yeah, I'm not accepting that distributor draw. Oh my god, the distributor draw is even worse, but the damage per second and the damage is, is better. The ammo clip size hasn't changed. Oh, the distributor. But let's face it, how many of these am I going to fire off? But 72% more, that means I might as well fit another, almost fit another one. Because it's taking the power of two of them almost. I might have to settle for something like that. Ah, ha! I don't mind taking this one. This is better. I got a good one there. And the, and the damage is up. So let's take this. <clears throat> now. Target lock breaker. Ooh. That breaks target lock on successful strikes. That's an interesting one. Now this one will allow me to uh, create new ammo from my fuel but it will mean that my hits are reduced damage. Phasing sequence designed to defeat shielding. A small amount of damage is able to bleed through shields and attack the target's hull at the cost of minor damage reduction. Sounds good. This one will confuse all gimbal and turret hardpoints on the target at the cost of direct damage potential. So maybe we can fit these on the on the other two. A phasing sequence and a dispersal shield. No, sorry. No, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. On the other two, we'll put the dispersal on the target lock breaker. And on this one, we're going to stick the phasing sequence on. I'm just going with, I don't, uh, well, I'm going to call them semi-educated guesses. <clears throat> so we just need to uh, get rid of this. And then we can now do these ones. But the question is, which one do we go with this? 
with these. Do we do focused here maybe? The thermal load is, is affected here. These are good for armor piercing and, and more damage. With this weapon enhancement thermal with this weapon enhancement, thermal load and fire rate are sacrificed for increased damage and armor piercing capability. Okay, let's let's put this on one of them. I'm messing with all sorts of stuff here. And if I get a really good build, I don't know whether it's because of this or because of that. So the rate of fire hasn't suffered that much. Thermal load has quite majorly. But damage is good. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. We'll see what happens when we're out in the field. Uh, and now I need to... I don't know how it's going to perform until I get out there, so... Yeah, I know there'll be lots of you out there disagreeing with some of my choices. Um, but please let me know what yours would have been. Um, I'm very interested to know. Now this might be good for short range, but I don't see... I can't see really where... Oh, uh, and it, let's we can run one efficient weapon. Let's run one efficient weapon. Damage still goes up, rate of fire goes down. Damage is good, damage per second not bad, thermal load is not bad. Distributor draw is good. Rate of fire down, power draw down. Let's use that as our, as our base then and see where we can go from there. I think I think we need to make one of them efficient even if it is one of the smaller ones <laughs> so we've got a few efficient weapons on board oh, that's not bad distributor draw is being pulled on badly damage is better we're just gonna have to see aren't we let's put this as and this is gonna break target lock I don't know what's going to happen with this. <laughs> you just have this feeling you're making all the wrong decisions and then I'm going to suffer thermal problems, um, distributor draw problems. So the shield, I'm going to go with thermal resistant shields. Integrity is good. That's a good basey one. Let's give it another give it another roll and see where we get to. Okay, integrity's dropped a little bit, but the thermal resistance is up pretty well. Let's go with that. Go oh, let's go back a second. Optimal hull mass. Yeah, let's go another one. Okay, kind of wish I didn't know. Thermal resistance is better. Kinetic is down. Integrity is down. You're going to have to tempt me with at least a couple of blues. Right, thermal resistance slightly down. Integrity is better. Broken regenerate is better. Explosive resistance is better. Kinetic is better. And we lose a little bit of thermal. Let's go with it. Oh crap. Well, I know exactly what I'm doing on these ones anyway. So the A's are all going to be uh, heavy duty and the E's are all going to be resistance augmented. So I'll run through those and I'll be back. Okay, so that is done. So the last thing I need to do is I'm probably going to hate this build because um, it's probably, it's not, I can tell you straight away that this build is not built for my style of combat. 
in the fact that um, most of the weapons are fixed. Now here's an issue. If I switch this to a whole reinforcement package, oh, this one hasn't got any uh, hasn't got anything on it. I'd have to modify this, store it, put a cargo thing there to buy some fish to fit another one on here. I think what I'll do is put the whole reinforcement package on here right now. I didn't I didn't reinforce the other one the other one. I've got two here that still need doing. So what I'll do is I'll come down and I'll store this number three. And I will replace that quickly with a cargo rack. And then I will modify these two whole reinforcement packages. Let's do oh, let's just do it. Let's just do it. I was going to just pause the video, but let's just do this. Okay, we've got eight fish, so we'll use four on each. I wonder how I missed those two out. Yeah. Yeah, it only says that one's been missing. So something's going on there. Oh, and I haven't done the power plant. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda need that. Right then. How weird. Alright, well... Now we've come to the end of the build. Now we'll see where we are in terms of uh, absolute power. So 112. So we need to improve it by 12%. Question is, can we do that with a very, very good grade 1 overcharge? Well, it says up to 11% there, but um, let's see where we go. I think we're going to... Oh, integrity is good. Heat efficiency hasn't suffered. Let's apply it and see where we are. Not quite, not quite, not quite, not quite, not quite. It's possible with a grade one, I think. Grade two would obviously be better. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not giving us it there. Let's try again. If we can, if we can suck up all of that blue and get it into the forties, we might be good to go. It might be just easier to go for a grade 2 overcharge. Don't want to apply the grade 5 if I don't need it. Oh yeah, okay. Heat efficiency not so good, but that will be enough. It, surely that will be enough. Yeah, it is enough. And that's without disabling the cargo hatch, which we'll no longer need. So, finally, we will go into outfitting. We'll go into optionals, and we will take the cargo, and we will transfer and swap it for the whole reinforcement package that we had. I think we're good to go. So. Shields, 2,551.7. Hull, 4,570. Yikes. Boost speed, 425. Jump range, 14.7. 42.3 uh, megawatts of power, which isn't too bad. And the rest is... Uh, the, uh, the insurance is uh, three and a half, three point seven million. So what's what it's going to come down to now is how how much power distributor draw are these plasmas going to put on, and also um, 
what's the thermals going to be like when we're actually firing? Oh, well, questions will now be answered as we go into... Oh, I hate looking for this thing. Light and star. Commence departure. Okay. Thanks for watching the build. And uh, if you want to see how she performs, you'll have to look at the previous video. So until then, bye bye. Engaging automated flight control.